Hello, family and friends. It's the old Chrome Dances. Set my timer. And this is going to be that church rummage cell with a few add on items if I have enough time to get through. So we're going to get right into this. So hopefully, I do. This huge, I mean, this is friggin' huge. I don't know if you can even see. This thing is gigantic. I got it for 50 cents. It's a huge, huge, huge col colander. And I picked this up to wash my... See how big it is? I mean, it's just gigantic. And as soon as I spotted it, I'm like, perfect! To wash my uh, garden greens in. So, I... Pick this bad boy up for 50 cents. I love church rummage cells. You can get things for so flippin' cheap that it's not even funny. Yeah, I gotta move a couple things here. Those I hope to add on. Okay, I got two summer hats, and they were 50 cents a piece. I got a beautiful wild orange one. Yes, I can wear it with that orange outfit. And then I got this pretty purple one. So I thought for 50 cents a piece those were really cute. So I picked them up. <coughs> and then I picked up this uh, pretty, uh, okay, I'm trying to get it, I'm going to fold it in half, actually I got the wrong, yeah I got the wrong side going here, this does suck out, it's long, I'm going to use this as a uh, See, it's got the beautiful stripes. Try and look in the camera so I can see. And it's, it was in the scarf section. So I imagine you could use it as a scarf or wrap. But uh, I was thinking of hanging it over the top of my refrigerator because I know my mom and the older generation and that was in her generation used to always have a nice cloth or something hanging over but I could use it as a wrap too I really don't know but it's nice and long and it's nice and wide so I picked that up I do believe it was 50 cents so I thought that was pretty and then I picked this little headscarf up. I thought it was pretty and it was 50 cents. It's just a square little uh, headscarf there. I don't have many scarves like that. <coughs> and then I got lucky. I got uh this uh, seven day candle has not been burned. It's got the guardian angel with the little children. I got that one. Actually, two of them. They have not been burned. Uh oh. I'll have to be cautious here. I think this glass may be chipped. Yeah, I'll have to watch this one really close. I don't know if I'll be able to use that one or not. And then I got this is, was a holiday one. And Old Williamsburg Country Dreams. Winter Spruce. Wait, anyway, wait, you see I spent $25. $25. You're right. 25 cents. 25 cents for each of these seven day candles. So I, uh, I thought that was an excellent deal because I like to stock these. I got another one of the angels, three of the angels, and uh, this one. 
and then I picked this guy up too. It was a quarter off, so. And it says Fish House. Original Fish House. Huh. I don't know. It says all that. Don't know. Not familiar with this. Probably some company. But still, nice big candle nonetheless. That I'm sure would be pretty close to a seven day. <coughs> Pardon me. And I like to have these in case power goes out. Her shit hits the fan. You know, they're just long burning. So that was a dollar twenty-five for five candles. So that that was a wonderful deal there. I couldn't pass that up. Not at all. I'll just have to be careful of that one candle though. Keep a real good eye on that. But yeah, I'm just trying to scooch these over a little bit. And the rest of what I got I gotta lift it up here. You know, I don't know exactly how many are in here. I thought I've seen something else down here at the bottom. Let me see. That I got, or something that, yeah, just something that's in here. Okay, I'm just gonna bring you up. And it's all canning jars of different sizes. So, uh, you know, some wide mouth, some quarts, some uh, half pints, or pints. Yeah, there's just an, um, a big box. They were a quarter jar. So, uh, I figured there's got to be at least a dozen jars in there, and, uh, eh, pretty close to it. Yeah, there's quite a few jars. So, I grabbed that up, because I'm going to need to be getting, oops, canning jars for, um, you know, the fall when it's time to, uh, uh, start doing some canning. I think I'm going to save that box there for pickled beets. For sure. And anyhow, okay. That was my church rummage cell. So, um, now we're going to go on and add a few more pieces in. Uh, this is from a garage cell that I had gotten. Uh, they ended up coming down to $3.00 instead of five on this and it's a very large uh, I wanted it because it is an amber and the lid looks rough on the outside but it's great on the inside so I can put some herbs in there because some herbs have to be in darker containers so uh, I was real pleased I'll have to clean it up very well but I was pleased to get that big jar Because it's kind of hard to find them. Big ones like that. And then I got this uh, box. This wooden, wooden box. I'm going to put some of my excess stones in here because my uh, one container is getting very overloaded. It was $3. And. Uh, The lid lifts up so and then that way I can see what I've got so I picked up that and that's a good size box so I figured that'll hold some more stones because I don't quite have all the, the crystals I want anyway and uh, I figured well you better have a place so I went ahead and snapped up this box for three bucks thinking that was a pretty good deal what I wanted to use it for. Oh, actually, I do have one more thing from the church rummage cell. 
I forgot. It's big. And I, oh my gosh, I paid three dollars. I paid three dollars for it. And this is another one that I think I'm going to hang and put my uh, crystal spears that are on, um, um, let's see, I'll try and set it up here. Lenny or something, I don't know. That's not going to hold. Maybe that'll hold for a minute so I can back up. I love it. It looks kind of vintage. And it's got this long shelf at the bottom. And then it's got two smaller shells and then a long shelf across the top. So I thought that would be good to put some of my uh, crystal spears on. Um, that's why I picked this one up. So, and that was from the, the church rummage cell also. And it's got the brackets to hang it up on the wall. So yeah, I figured I could put some things up there because I've got them just here, there, and everywhere and it would be more organized. Okay. So, now we'll keep trying to go here. I got um, oh, actually I'd like to try and show this. Just depends on how much of a mess they've got in here. We had a uh, one of the guys had 20% off of one item for their birthday, so they got a, uh, a they got a new rail and they got a Zepco 33. I think it was $24.99 and 20% off. So they picked that up and then they picked up a fishing pole holder and I don't know how much that was but anyway it's a fish and pole holder they picked that up nothing in there and uh, I got some new green line and this was the green line I had put on my Garcia that broke. I'm just going to have to buy another Garcia. I'm not happy about that. And then they got some of these Gulp Alive um, maggots. They're not alive. They're just... Well... Shit, I don't know. These might be... Yuck. I ain't using these. No, these ain't the plastic ones. You. Yeah, I'm still kind of a girly girl. At any rate, I don't know what they paid for them, but that's their mess. <laughs> I ain't going there. That was from Bass Pros. So, I just want to get this stuff put up. I got all this mess in my road and all the fish and stuff goes out to the one's uh, SUV because that's what we drive so when he comes over he can take it okay a uh, couple things I wanted to review Dollar Tree this Yusing Asian style cuisine uh, the orange chicken I did not care for. Uh, it is not even close to orange chicken to me. Didn't like it. But the chicken fried rice is a keeper. So I'll be buying more of that. That was good. Didn't like this. And haven't tried the teriyaki chicken. So I thought I'd pass that along. Now I can fill that out. And then I wanted to... Uh, I hauled this. This liquid coffee creamer from Dollar Tree, the cinnamon bun, is absolutely delicious. So this is a keeper. I'm going to be getting more of this. 
This is really, really good. So I thought I'd let you guys know on that. And then I had gotten that smartphone. This wasn't working out for me at all. So I got a, a Net 10 wireless uh, or cell phone pay-as-you-go, just a uh, plain uh, flip phone. I don't care for flip phones, but I can buy the 750 minutes, and that lasts me for more than enough time. I think it's seven. No, it's a thousand. It's a thousand minutes, and that lasts me for a long, long time. So, uh, that's working out. I usually end up losing some air time because the other one was costing me too much. I didn't like it. Couldn't figure it out. Wasn't working well for me. And plus, I was going through minutes and then sitting here with no phone. I got a Pitch Me box that came in. Gonna open it. My first Pitch Me. That was free samples, so I thought I'd open this quick. And then I've got my haul done. Er, if we can have time to get through the pitch me box real quick. Okay, yeah, pitch me box. It's where they get free samples. I got some Z Quill nighttime sleep aid. You get two liquid caps. And there's supposed to be a coupon inside to save two dollars. I'll try this out. Uh, and then I got some of this Muse natural cat food and essential nutrients. Yeah, and I guess there's, I thought maybe there'd be a coupon, but it doesn't seem like it opens up unless there's one in here. And, uh, that's how it comes. And then we can take it out of here. And that's what it looks like. I'm going to give this to the outside cats because spirit's funny. No, there's no coupon in there. But he's pretty funny. He won't, uh, he, he's, yeah, he will need this, I'm sure of it. I mean, I can offer, but I'm almost, I can bet money that he won't eat it. So he doesn't eat canned cat food. But the other guys will. So they'll love it. No coupon on it. So... At any rate, that was the two samples, was the cat food and and this. So I guess that is uh, everything I have right now. <coughs> so I don't have any more hauls to do, so not for a while. But I've been meaning to get this one done, and it's been raining forever. And it's supposed to rain like five days out of seven next week. It's like, I hope I get a laundry day in there somewhere. So, and any of who, we will talk to you guys later.